Hello world hippies and travelers around the globe. Today I'm going to be showing you what I am packing for my trip to India. I'm going to be spending three months in India. You pack differently for the south than you would for the north. So through all my research, all the videos I've watched, all the blogs I've read, and all the packing lists I've scanned over, I've put together a basic rundown of what you will need. So we'll get started by showing you the backpack. This backpack is made in the USA and it is from East West. You can get these at most luggage stores, that's where I got mine. And it is 35 to 40 liter. Um, it has two side pockets. It has one middle pocket on the front. Inside you have two compartments here, one for toiletries and one where I'm going to be putting my electronics. It's a tactical backpack. It is knife resistant so it, it, it'll take a lot of force to cut through this. So it's very safe on your travels. During the time that I'll be in India, it will be monsoon season. First things first is a rain cover. It's an elastic bag that you put over the entire backpack while it's on your back and rain can't get to it. All right, so what do you need to bring? Well, let's start off with electronics. Um, it's very important to document and film, take pictures to remember your trip. I'll show you the cameras I'm bringing and the protection for them as well, and other accessories. This right here is the Nikon Coolpix digital camera. Anytime that I don't want to be carrying my action camera around and I just want to take awesome still digital photos, I can take my digital camera. This right here is the Yi Discovery digital camera. Um, I like this. I don't like the battery life though on it, um, but I got four extra batteries here and it's a little charging station in a Ziploc bag. So I will have both these together. I have a waterproof case. Now accessories for my camera. I was realistic in thinking, what am I going to actually be physically doing? So I got it down to two items and that is this headband. So I can wear this on my head and I can do walking videos through town or through the jungle. Um, if I'm riding a motorcycle out in fields somewhere out in the country, then I can just put this on my head and be hands free. Um, I brought my stick. I'm not gonna call it a selfie stick because that's ridiculous, but this is good if you need to get into uh, tight places, if you need to get through a fence or something, you can. This is a must have. I have this bag right here that I'm actually putting all my digital equipment in. I also have this little bag, and this is where I'm gonna put little accessories. I have two pairs of earbuds in case one goes out. Drum roll please. Da -da 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 -da. Earplugs, these are sound canceling earplugs. These are very important because in India, you have honking and beeping in the city constantly. Okay, another thing is this passport. This is an electronic passport. It's a device that allows you to download all your files from your computer uh, or devices and put them on here. So this is your storage for all your pictures. You'll also want to take a portable charger. You just pull the side out here and bam, you hook that into your phone, get it a good charge. Speaking of power, when you are overseas, you are going to have different plugins, right? So in India, they use, I believe, Type D, and that is the three prong. And it gives you a plug with the ground and a plug without a ground on this side. Um, this right here is a USB charger. It will fit in one of these adapters, just like so. And then you put your USB connector right into there. So cool, and then just boop, take it apart. Okay, so what's next? What is next? Let's go with this. This right here is amazing. It's called Life Straw. Life Straw gets rid of 99.99999% of protozoa, of bacteria, all the bad stuff that you do not want in your water. You can get a whole situation happening very fast. You could end up in the hospital or with massive diarrhea. 
So I've heard all that. This is good for 265 gallons or that's 1,000 liters. Another important thing is sunglasses. It's very sunny. If I'm in the Himalayas, I'm gonna be closer to the sun. So I need to protect my eyes. These will also protect my eyes from dust and debris in the air because when you're in the city and there's a lot of dust, which India is known for, everything will blow around. It's very good to have sunglasses. When you're up north, you're going to get cold. Make sure you have a pair of gloves. This right here is the Ecotech Outdoor Sleeping Pad. It's the Hibern 8. This is a sleeping pad that you air up. It has a honeycomb shade, so it won't allow air to disperse and you hit the ground. This thing, you can sleep anywhere. If you go camping while you're in India, if you're on a train um, and it's uncomfortable, or you're just out meditating, this is great as a meditation pad. This is the Euphoria Microfiber Bath and Beach Towel. You do not want something that'll hold bacteria, so this will not. You need something that will dry very fast, this will. And you need something to be large because you're drying off your entire body and you're also wanting to, to uh, rest on this at the beach or when you're meditating or something like that. This is plenty big enough to take care of all your needs. This is a day pack for when you go out to the city or out just exploring. You don't want to carry your entire pack. It would be so heavy. So what you do is here is a, a nylon day pack. It has strings so you can put where it has a backpack. It has pockets on the outside of it as well. And it has a drawstring so, so you can cinch everything up. This is quick, lightweight, and it packs into nothing. It takes up no space at all in your backpack. Okay, another big thing is a spork. A lot of you know that in India, they eat with their right hand because eating with your left hand is considered unclean. I'll leave that to the imagination, go do your research. But um, I'm left-handed, so using my right hand, I've already been practicing and I just cannot get the food to stay right there. Can use this as a spoon in my left hand, or a fork or a knife. But trust me, I will be trying my right. I will. Toiletries, keep it simple. You can buy everything you want there. Um, but I have room left in my backpack, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm bringing. There's deodorant. You need contact solution in your contact case if you, or glasses if you wear glasses. But make sure you can always see. I brought some Visine as well as antibiotics for the eye in case I get an infection. Because you never know if you rub your eye, you can get something in it. Um, I got my shaving cream and a razor. I got some cologne. Also, I'm waiting on a first aid kit to come in the mail. But you need a basic first aid kit. You need your toothbrush and toothpaste as well. I'm also bringing activated charcoal powder. Activated charcoal powder is good at pulling impurities. So if you are getting an infection in your mouth or something, you want to put this in your mouth to draw out, draw out those impurities. Um, you can also put this on things like bee stings or cuts, and that'll help the healing process as well. Very good to have is activated charcoal. B12 and your zinc, just make sure you have to take at least one of these each a day. Just keep your immune system up and going because your body will be introduced to a lot of foreign elements that your body doesn't know. Next we have anti-diarrhea medication. This will be your savior. From what I've read, most Westerners will get diarrhea. Our bodies cannot take the, the food over in India. Um, and the ba certain bacteria is in it. So besides eating a lot of yogurt and getting those good bacteria in your gut, if something does happen, you'll want to have some anti-diarrhea medication on you. This shack pack holds all my clothes, except for a few more items. But it helps compress everything down in the backpack, which saves you even more room. So let's open this up and see what I got. You want to pack very light. 
you are going to be able to buy many clothes over in India. I'm taking two t-shirts as well as two dry fit shirts. They're stretchy, they wick away sweat, they're breathable. Dry fit fabric is absolutely amazing. Then you'll want two pairs of boxers, and I'm also bringing three pairs of boxer briefs because if it's hot there, you'll probably chafe a lot. So that will help protect against chafing. Um, I have a pair of running shorts here as well. Uh, these are actually scrubs, but I use these as yoga pants. You want something to lounge around in, be comfortable, meditate in, if it gets cold or if you want to go exercise and don't want to chafe. Also, uh, these are very good. They are runner's pants. They're made of spandex. They're very form-fitting, so they will keep the heat against your body. Very, very good in cold climates. Uh, to save room in my pack, I'm going to have these pair of pants from Eddie Bauer. As you see, there is a zip off here where you can zip the bottoms right off turn to turn these pants into shorts so you have shorts and pants all in one it saves room in your backpack oh and make sure you bring a couple pairs of winter socks and three or four pairs of regular athletic socks for shoes you have just regular running shoes hiking shoes so these are called emoji and emoji makes these rubber shoes that have holes all in. They're very, very, I don't know if you can see, they're very vented, mesh everywhere, but these are quick for your shower shoes, for lounging around, for going, just being comfortable for the day. Uh, don't use these though if you wanna go trekking in the mountains or all over the city all day long. So this is a down jacket by Go Light. It is filled with down, it actually does what it's supposed to do. It's not a cheap jacket. And it will keep you crazy warm. And it's monsoon season, so I have a rain jacket. You can get any old rain jacket. Don't forget to bring your passport. Um, you need a copy of your passport to have on you while you're out and about traveling, because you don't want to be out traveling with your actual passport. Because if you lose it, oh no. So have a copy, um, have immunization records. So the next thing you'll need is a pen and a notebook. Write down any pertinent information, any new words that you learned, any addresses or phone numbers that you need to know or instructions or directions. So another very, very important thing to bring while in India are locks. These are combination locks. And they're for your backpack. So pickpocketers, while it's on your back and they're behind you, they can't unzip your backpack and take valuables out of your pack. So make sure you get a combination lock. Um, and I'm going to tell you why you want a combination lock. These are very easy for you to open. They're very tough to get off. And if you lose a key to a traditional lock, how are you going to get in your backpack without tearing your backpack up? Another interesting thing that you might not have thought about is extra bags to make sure that when your shoes are dirty or muddy or dusty, you have somewhere to put them into so they don't get debris all over your backpack. So that is what I am bringing with me for three months in India. Now I can buy a lot of stuff while I'm there. This is just your basics. So thank you for joining me today. I'm glad I can share with you this basic education about what you would need to start your trip to India. Don't forget that May 15th, I am taking off to India and I'm going to start daily vlogs. So what does that mean? It means that every single day, hopefully every single day, you'll be able to watch amazing destinations travel tips, food, entertainment, everything about India that I can pack into three months. And I'll share it all with you. So don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you when I get to India. Bye guys.